Hello YouTube, kind of a special video today because usually I make these sitting down, but for the purpose of explaining what having a short frame means, I think it's best if I just show you. So when we talk about frame in bodybuilding, we are referring to the skeletal system that is going to be carrying the muscle because your muscles attach to your skeleton, all right? And they are activated through the tendons. So what it also means is that the size and the width of your skeleton is going to have a massive influence on the way you look, on the way you should be walking to achieve a rather muscular and massive physique as a natural. So let's take a look at my body. I look fairly big. I'm six feet. I'm 210. Objectively speaking, I have a very short frame. I have narrow shoulders. If you look at me like I am right now, just resting, it does, it's not evident because I have a lot of muscle development. But objectively, for people who have an eye for bodybuilding and for structures, you can tell. And how do you tell? Well, you look at the structure. What is the tr structure? The bones. If you look at my clavicles, they are very short. They are extremely short. And what attaches to the clavicle? Your pecs and especially your shoulders. Okay, attached to the clavicle is right there, the rotator cuff. And the rotator cuff is going to dictate the width of the shoulder. So if you have short clavicles, you have narrow shoulders. And what do narrow shoulders mean? Well, it means you're not going to look naturally as wide. Your V taper is not going to be as impressive. And your back is going to suffer from the same issue. It's not going to be as wide. So I'm going to show my back. It's the same thing that I have to deal with with the front. It's narrow. Now, having a small frame can be advantageous in certain situations, meaning that because the muscle had attaches on a very small portion, it's going to look thicker as you grow it. But you are not going to have that natural width. And it's personally my belief that you shouldn't chase after the type of look that guys with wide shoulders can attain. But you should work certain muscles to get bigger, to look bigger. And those muscles are the muscles that surround the body. Because even if the structure is small, the muscle that is packed on it can make you look that much more massive. And that's going to be the long head of the tricep, the three heads of the shoulder, especially medium, and rear delt, and the traps. All of these are going to make you look wider. As far as frame goes, this is what most people think about when they say it. Structure also takes into consideration the, the width and, and thickness of the wrist, the knees, the hips, but all of that I will discuss in a different video. For this one, I want to introduce the topic of frame because it's going to be a main topic on my channel. Why? I'm a bodybuilder. I have a small frame. There's no way around it. You, when you're gifted a, a hand, you have to play with it. Denying it is not going to lead you to anything. So this is what the term frame means. And you can expect a ton of videos on this channel about how to look bigger when you have a small frame. One advice I would give people with small frames is really focus on limb development. Why? If I just pose like this, or if I extend like this, it's a completely different ball game. If I had small arms, it's not, it wouldn't be creating that effect of the body expanding to the side, which in a way masks your width. It masks the fact that you lack that natural width. I'm going to hit it from the back. So that is my point for this video. I will go into details uh, explaining special strategies to look bigger as a natty. And I will also be taking care of people who have a very wide frame, but who lack that thickness and who don't want to look thin from the side or from certain shots. 
So you can expect videos for that as well. Thank you for watching. And remember, no matter what frame you were gifted with, you can look big too. Have a good day.